Hey guys, welcome to question FM331 of the Further Maths Fortifier Study Guide. This question reads, a kite designer has four triangular cloth pieces and needs to connect them. The measurements of the kite are presented below and then we're given this diagram here. The, the kite requires metal poles in a cross formation going through the middle of the kite to connect the cloth pieces. The length of metal pole required to construct this kite in centimeters is closest to what? So the way we're gonna answer this question is first of all, we've got to understand what we're being asked. So we need to find the length of the metal poles that would make this cross through our uh, kite here. So if we were to call uh, this length of metal the long pole, and add that to this length of metal here, which we'll call the short pole, then we would have our total, the total length of metal pole needed to make this kite. So let's deal with these as two separate problems and then put them together. Starting off with the long pole. So we're going to focus on this length here. Now our job of course is to just create uh, a scenario in which we are able to find this length here. So the one that I'm going to use is by taking the right angle triangle that's given us given to us in the right uh, the right hand side of this triangle, so this right angle triangle here. Uh, and to answer this question, I could use the 60 degrees or I could use the 30 degrees. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to choose to use the 30, this length here of 24. And of course, I'm going to be finding uh, this length here, the length of that long pole. Now, this is of course a right angle triangle, so labeling these sides, I see that I would need to use the adjacent and hypotenuse sides. So I know that I'm going to be using cosine. Inserting my known values, I get cos of 30 degrees is equal to 24 over h. Sorry, 24 over x, since I've given that a value there, x. Rearranging this, we get x is equal to 24 over cos 30 degrees. And I'm going to leave it there because I'll use this exact value in my calculations and then approximate once I've made my final calculation. So if that's our long pole length there, we've got 24 over cos 30 centimeters. Now we can have a look at our short pole. So with the short pole, which is this length here, uh, you could, once again, you could use uh, this triangle above. I've chosen to use this triangle uh, down the bottom. So it looks a bit like that. Now, what I know about this triangle is that these two side lengths are the same uh, and they're both 24 centimeters. When I have a look here, I can see that half of this triangle uh, would end up being 30 degrees, sorry, half, half of the uh, angle made here is 30 degrees, which means the whole thing is going to be 60 degrees. At this point, you might start thinking to yourself, well, if this is 60 degrees here, that means that these two angles, since this is an isosceles triangle, as far as we know so far, if this is 60 degrees, then the remaining 120 degrees must be split evenly between these two, at which point you may discover that this is actually an equilateral triangle, which means each of the side lengths is 24 centimeters, which means that our short pole length is equal to 24 centimeters as well. Sorry, not as well, but is equal to 24 centimeters. So we have our long pole and short pole lengths. So our total is going to be equal to 24 over cos 30 degrees plus 24. Plugging all of that into a calculator and rounding to the first decimal place should give you an answer of 51.7 centimeters, which of course is option C. If you guys have any questions about this question, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.